So you've ordered a new Xbox Series S. Pretty sweet, dude. But now you want to see the unbox and setup process so you can get to gaming as soon as possible. And that's exactly what we're going to do now. We'll start with the box. And this is a bundle edition. But the unbox and setup will be exactly the same. Take a look at the box. Feel free to pause if you want to read all of this. And the Xbox Series S is all digital, meaning there is no disk drive, so you won't buy physical games at somewhere like a GameStop, and you also won't have a pile of game disks laying around, taking up a bunch of space. Instead, you can purchase games directly from the Xbox or Microsoft store, just like you would movies on Amazon Prime Video or YouTube or Apple TV or whatever, right? And don't worry about having high prices because there are sales all the time in the store. You can always find games for $5, $10, $20, and new games often go on sale for, you know, $30 to $50, you know, a few months after the initial release. Plus, if you have Game Pass Ultimate, you can play over 300 games for free as part of your subscription. You also have access to some games on the day they are released for no extra cost. That was great when Wulong came out or Redfall came out. Got those on day one. And you can download these games to your console or even play immediately with cloud gaming. Cloud gaming is really cool. All right, let's pop open the box. Here's your Xbox. and the setup instructions. Grab the smaller box. And in here is your HDMI cable, power cable, safety information, and the controller. You'll also find two AA batteries packaged with the controller. So we'll pop them in. Let's get this packaging off the Xbox. The connect button for your controller is on the front, along with a USB port, and the power button is over here. On the rear, you have a power port, a storage expansion port for the Seagate expansion card, your HDMI port, two USB ports, and an ethernet port. You can orient the Xbox either vertically or horizontally, and there's little rubber feet for either orientation. Here's a look at the wireless controller. On the inside, you have your eighth inch or 3.5 millimeter headphone port and an expansion port for various accessories. On the rear, you have a USB-C port, which can be used to connect the controller to the Xbox if you wanna play wired and even without batteries. Or if you have the rechargeable battery pack, then you can charge it in the controller. And this is the pair or connect button. All right, so now we'll set up the Xbox. I'll start by getting the Xbox app, just so we're ready. Then connect the HDMI cable and the power cable. Of course, connect these to your TV, and a power outlet. Then press the power button on the Xbox. Now it's time to head into the app, set up console, and enter the code you see on the TV. Follow the prompts. And we are connected. So we'll continue the setup in the app and you can use a wired connection or Wi-Fi with your Xbox. For now, I'll just use Wi-Fi. And we need to update. Go through a few more settings. Then we'll set up an Xbox profile. I happen to already have one from many years ago, but we can change our gamer tag later on. Follow more prompts. Give the Xbox a name and location. 
add some apps if you want. Go through a few more options. And you're done. If your Xbox is still updating, you can explore the app for a while. With this app, you can download games onto your Xbox. Now you can't purchase games in the app. For that, you'll need to use a browser. You know, go online either on your phone or your computer, and then you can actually purchase games. Or of course, use the built-in store on your Xbox. You just can't purchase games in this app. We're done with the app for now. Switch back to your Xbox and follow the instructions on screen. I'll press and hold the Xbox button on the controller and then press the highlighted button. And we are connected. Now, normally when you connect a controller to your Xbox, you would start with the controller off and then press and hold the pair button for about three seconds or so and the controller will come on. Then press the connect or pair button on the Xbox and you're good. So this Xbox came with a few games and we can choose to claim these now or just do it later. You'll also get a pop-up saying that you can join Game Pass Ultimate for only $1 for the first month. And I highly suggest that you do this. You can always cancel the plan immediately after you sign up so you're not charged again. But Game Pass Ultimate is probably something most people will want. And you can always subscribe and unsubscribe when needed. With Game Pass Ultimate, you also have access to cloud gaming, which means you don't even have to download the games to play them. And that's it, you're all done. It's game time. So if you subscribed to Game Pass Ultimate for $1, head in there, find some games that you want to play, download them, or of course use cloud gaming. And you can play as many of them as you want, there's no limit. If you run out of storage space, you can delete games. And don't worry, you can always reinstall them whenever you want. And this applies to Game Pass games and games that you have purchased. So if you delete a game from your Xbox that you purchased, don't worry, you still own the game and it will be in your account, ready to be re-downloaded whenever you want, all right? You do not have to repurchase a game just because you delete it from your Xbox, all right? So take a look in the Xbox store, find some good deals and purchase some games. If this happens to be a child's Xbox, you can also require a pin or lock them out of doing certain things so they don't, you know, run up your bill. You'll also want to head to Settings, Devices and Connections, Accessories, hit the three dots, and check for updates for your controller. And then you may want to go to This Controller Signs In Nobody and then link it to your profile. So that way you sign in automatically with that controller. All right, so there is a lot more for you to explore on your new Xbox Series S. But for now, it's game time. So that's it. You're all set up and ready to play with your new Xbox Series S.